we're gonna talk about 6x6 format because we have a lot of uh, 6x6 cameras like right here the the twin lens reflexes we all have it right here and it's a really special format that's that's popularized by the uh, by the Roliflexes and, and Hasselblads, right? You have, you have this six by six image, a square image that's the same at all sides. So it doesn't matter about orientation. So I think this is just the, if you want to get into medium format, you're tired of this 35 millimeter small 135 film you want to get into 120 film I think 6x6 it's a good way to start there's there's two main points of why you st should start medium format uh, using a 6x6 first is because orientation of the frame because you don't have to care about uh, whether it's landscape or portrait you just have a square frame you just frame everything inside so that's the first thing and the second one is you know it's uh, compared to those 645, 6x7 larger using 120 film cameras I think this uh, 6.6 is a, is a way to go it's it's relatively compact the camera is it's easier to view uh, and then it's cheap like you can get a twin lens reflex for, for really cheap under 200 bucks or something but all, all of the uh, 645s are kind of expensive and this one you know you can practice through you know all the modern why why this is like a this format you know the 6x6 format is it's what it's called as an instant format that's why at the start Instagram using the square format cuz cuz it's an instant format when you start by Polaroids Polaroids using an instant format too cuz it's an instant format I, I don't I don't understand but but it's called an instant format and you can practice through this framing like you don't have to care about how you're holding it it just it's just one orientation and then you fit, fit everything in the frame and you have this 120 film that you can and you can crop it in later you know you have you have a f square frame built in into your iPhone so that's a good way to start. I mean, and then you know you have this cheap uh, uh, twin lens reflex, and and it's actually it's cool. It's like people will will will, will look at it, you know. Steampunk. It's nostalgic, as they said. But I, I don't know. I'm not sure because even though even though they it's nostalgic. You you've seen you have seen the historical pictures or like people people using this, but actually not much people were using this at that time because it it is a luxury product. It it is even in China especially when they make this camera, it's around. 120 bucks 120 Chinese yuan at that time so so that's a lot of money by by that time and then it's a luxury product to have it's not like not everyone have the the chance to have a camera and then 120 format special 120 format like no one no one have it and then I don't get it why people say that's nostalgic because people don't <laughs> They don't use it. They never seen it. Yeah, so Chinese never seen it. So, so I mean, 
yeah, those those times around the 70s and 80s, uh, still like through that many years, how how much years? 80 years? Yeah, these things still function. Yeah, it's just. I mean, it's just interesting. It's 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 a new. It's new. It's a new. It's it's a fresh look, you know, for people nowadays. They 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 think that's different. It's nostalgic. So so why why you should start using a a twin lens reflex and six by six? It's 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 all in. It's it's everything in one package for you. It's like you don't have to care about changing the lenses, and it's relatively easier to to bring this around and viewing with a big with a big viewfinder. It's always waist level, and you have a magnifier too. It's for me, it's clearer to to frame than those six or five using a uh, eye level or waist level. It's kind of small, six or five still. You can you can see the comparison right here. This is a six four five frame, like that. Ooh, ooh. Mm, nice. yep. And this is a six by six. Oh yeah. So this is way much larger. Yo, I like this light box. Man. And and six by six. Yeah, keep holding, keep holding. I like this light box. And what is this? Six by seven. Yeah, six by seven. Yeah. This is six by seven. When you get into a larger format, you you lose you lose a couple of shots in each <laughs> each more. This is six by nine. Yeah. This yeah. is a six by nine frame, but six by six is actually compared to the six four five. Six by six is twelve shots. Yeah. Ten to twelve shots is it? Mm, something like that. And then the six four five is sixteen shots, so it's not losing a lot. Six four five is sixteen. Six six is twelve. Six six, six seven is ten. Ten shots, and then six nine is like six shots. No, our six nine camera can only do three shots. But <laughs> we're not talking about that. So. Yeah. So yeah. So this is a good, uh, like a good way to start. You know. You have you have your phone to practice your framing. You have a square format. You have a large. You have a larger. Uh, negative size. I think six six is hard to practice. And look, it's why why people are getting to like Hasselblads. It's it is six six format because they're they're looking for uh, not not like one of these cheaper ones. It's got a, it's got the same lens though. 2.8, 80 millimeter, 2.8. It's got 80 millimeter, 2.8. But they're looking for the optics and and the Hasselblad look, right? It's yeah. it's a Hasselblad, but they just it's just cool. But the result is nonetheless kind of the same. So yeah, I'm sure Hasselblad is a better. Well, maybe. Well, oh, this is this is a Yeah, but you know you get the point. It's Hasselblad. It's you actually don't need this. You know Hasselblad is a modular design. Mm -hmm. You can switch out the lenses. You can switch out the body. You can switch out the back. You can switch out the finder. It's a modular design. It's not. It's a. It's. It's a professional camera. It's. You have to switch the back in between. You have to switch your vine finders. Switch your lenses. What? Why? Like, yes. if you are not a professional, why? Why should you get this? It's just because it's cool. It's ultimate. It's. It's everyone is knows this and everyone's like this look. Everyone think this is cool. That's that's the main reason. Uh, a. Uh, Amateur photographer wants to get this. That's the main reason. So, if you want to start this, same thing. It's a, it's the same thing. It's same. It's the same shit. Okay. So you don't need a. So so why this is easy? It's easier to hold. It's lighter. You have your lens on it. You have a large viewfinder. You have everything built in. It's not modular. It's just one package, you know. You don't have to fit, fiddle around with the lenses. You don't have to switch the lenses. It's just one thing, and you get a six by six image. So, 
off down to 5.6. And like a way to start, you know. Yeah. All those cameras stop 5.6, F8, they're all good. Mm -hmm. And people say this is a leaf shutter, it's better when you, when you, when you can sync or something. Yeah, I know. I was like, okay, I don't care about that, but this... You, you, don't, you don't use 6.6, you don't use a TLR. I use it. Yeah, like, for me, I don't use this at all. Because I don't, I don't see any point. I don't know, I just don't like it. But, but my, by my boss really lo love it, I don't know why. <laughs> this this like he knew he bought like one of these the the bigger the bigger the bigger one twin lens <laughs> reflex which is the same same camera 2.8 millimeter it's just adding the feature of interchangeable lens modular design right but I don't think I would and then a close focus it. bellows Ooh, yeah you know this is insane bro so that's that's the whole thing like, that's insane that's the thing I want so I can get close. Yeah, get close, whatever. But yeah, so so if you were really looking for just the pictures, not the gear, I just like recommend like you know the Yashica Mat 124G. It's actually like we've sold tons of this this camera. It's it's the cheapest, it's it's well built good quality and it's it's a six by six medium format camera. And when you when you show it you when you show the image to people you ah, I, I I shot it with uh, Hasselblad. I shot it with uh, roller flex. No one can fucking tell, alright? So good way to start and and why why were you like what's the point of a pointing uh, point and shoot club uh, talking about a sophisticated twin lens reflex? I mean, we're just a club. We we're full of young people, and when young people get nerdy about it, they they either want no brainer or they want something really sophisticated. They they want to fiddle with those shit because they are getting. Like yeah, uh, they would think oh, I'm using this like dumbass point and shoot, and people would think I'm stupid. So, and I already know how to use it. So I want to want want something a little more uh, nerdy, sophisticated. So yeah, this is a good way. And and I look like I look like a fucking knowledgeable person with the glasses and with the twin lens reflex on my necks. So yeah, good choice. Sophisticated focus frame. Dial in your freaking settings. There's no meters on it because most of these uh, uh, light meters are broken. So yeah, you have to dial in. You have to focus. You have to frame. You have to wind. You have to reload your film like that. And it's it's, it's it takes it takes like 10, 10 times more than shooting one frame of this. So. That's why people either want really easy or really hard. We recommend both. Yeah, and this and the, by by holding this, they they are way cooler, right? Yeah. So that's what that's what they want. That's what they want. So so they have it, and we sold like many of them. We paired them together. Yeah, like people have. People first like bought one of these, and then they were like, "Yeah, yeah, I'm tired of this shit." They bought the same time. And then they get one of these, and then some some people like, "Oh, sometimes I want to be cool, sometimes I want to be knowledgeable." So they they get it both at the same time. So sometimes they can be dumb, sometimes they can be um, smart. You know. Mm -hmm. And and. Do we have some uh, six by six image? Yeah, I have a lot. Girls knows it. Yeah, and talk about like the seagull, right? It's actually the cheapest you can get. You know, you, you can find it online for like under a hundred bucks.
you have a friend from China. Yeah, they can they can pick you up a brand new one for under two hundred bucks. Look at that! It's actually good design. I don't know what what uh which which model is this, but this one looks pretty uh, advanced actually. This is a three point five lens, but the viewing lens is two point two point eight. It's a seventy five millimeter. Well, it's even wider than. This. It's a little wider, and then wider than you have Africa. you have sync. You have a flash sync, and you have like the collapsible. Like that, like the uh, the newer Hasselblads have, and it's it's kind of a pinch to close. It's not like you have to fold it three times, and also you have a hot shoe. Wow! So so you don't have to use a sync cable. You just can just plug your normal manual flash on this, and yeah, I think that's a good good design and can get this for really cheap and they're the, the company's dying okay the company's dying right now yeah. it's already dead in fact some some rich guy that likes camera keeping the last production line running so I think it's gonna be oh so this this one's still alive this one this one fucking died oh actually yeah like, they both died they all died but so except it, for isn't, this. isn't this company copy this Oh, they just took oh, they, they just took what's good yeah and then put it in but the lens actually the lens they they don't have the the Chinese don't have the technology to do that so mm -hmm. you can see it's 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 a wow. it's a mildly this is, yellow, this is blue. it's a mildly close to not coated lens so I don't know but but people say like when you take pictures of this, when you take a picture on this thing, you cannot tell, man. You cannot tell. Yeah, no one cares. Medium format, you know, it's it's got that feel. It's it doesn't matter what what gear you're using. It's. But I think this is a good good investment. You know, get get one of these brand new and then put it put it away. And then maybe in ten years or something, you know. Mm -hmm. This thing, man. This is the only Chinese uh, camera brand, sort of, right? And they they produce, they hand handcraft all all of the the cameras too. It's 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 by that time the highest quality built Chinese built uh, product ever. It's just no one can afford it. Yeah, but now it's just now it's going really cheap, and I think it's a good way to invest. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Bye-bye.